in this video we're going to go ahead and unbox the Victor AC 960 action camera so we're going to go ahead and quick unbox this and then we'll come back with a later video and I'll give you guys my thoughts on it so far but it is a 4k action cam we also have uh, 5m bare metal waterproofing dual screen display so this is the newer feature the newer model 2021 it does have a dual screen um, controls and views with built-in wi-fi a 40 meter waterproof with waterproof case and a 20 megapixel high quality photography it should come with a bunch of accessories so here we see the user manual and then you got the camera and you can see the front display right there so it's going to be an interesting one this is going to be my first action cam 4k cam with the front display so here's the user manual quick start guide however you want to call it i normally don't read these but it's good to go through them so you can see all you can do and this is the accessories bundle right here so accessories comes with a bunch of things we're going to go ahead and check that out first before we get into the camera so i'm just going to pour this all out we do have um, also a wrist control so you can put this on you strap it on your wrist and you can control it take photos and videos on the go we do have a cable here which is usb type a and micro usb on the other end we do have some sticky tabs so you can mount these in your car however you want to do that i think i'll be mounting this one in my car since it has a front facing camera now and all kinds of other um accessories we do have the rechargeable battery which is a 1350 milliamp so that's pretty big 1350 so we got one they normally ship with two there's probably one inside the unit we got a bike mount. You guys know me. I'll be on my bike with this, so I definitely will have this one either strapped on my bike handlebars or I'll have it mounted on my helmet. Here's the two batteries. So we should get some really good battery life with this. 1350 milliamps. We got that. We got these other adapters, mounts. We got Velcro straps. They're always coming handy. More mounts, bike mounts, and got a lens cap which is pretty cool did they have that lens cap we got some straps you definitely want to put this on if you have it like on a helmet or something or on your bike and it happens to fall off you want to make sure you got this strap on there and check this out also comes with a microphone so microphone on deck you clip this on your shirt and you plug this in and make sure you enable exterior microphones and you should be good to go. So we got that going on. Now let's go check out the camera. It's automatically in the case. It comes in the case here. Here's the waterproof case. Ready to go. This is to be the one that you can put on your helmet or whatnot. So we're gonna take this out. I don't really use the waterproof cases because I'm not really Wow, this one's really on there. So there it is. And here's the camera. Very nice design. I like the camera. Case is typical. The waterproof cases are typical. But this one here feels good. So it is a waterproof camera. You don't need to have it in the case. From what I read, it is, it's already waterproof. So you got some stickers on here. I definitely like this one a lot. Very small, very pocketable. You got the lens cap. 4k 60 on here with the victor branding got the power button you got the menus on top i love the front facing display here so we can see what we're looking at i'm definitely gonna use this one let me go ahead and open this up swipe it out this is the battery door Not sure if it comes off or not it just it just goes back like that so there's the inside the connections let's go ahead and put a battery in here hopefully we do have some juice and we'll go through the settings real quick before i start using this one i do have 
828 uh, gigabyte SD card that I'm planning on putting in here. But let's go ahead and power it on. Here's the power button. There it is. English. Um, this is going to be the select button, I'm guessing. Yep. The date. The date and what that. And it has also HDMI on this one. Microphone. 4K30 on deck. The issue I was having with the other one was it wasn't focusing in on words. So maybe this one. Looks good. So yeah, this is the 4K Ultra HD. Let me see if I can change that. There's a camera mode. Take a snap camera real quick. Oh, there's no memory card. But yeah, here's the menu. Is it touch screen? Oh yeah, it is touch screen. Resolution. 20 megapixels all the way down to five. This is the video here. We go into settings and the resolution for the video. You can go all the way up to 60, all the way down to 1030, 1080p 30. And this one actually does electronic image stabilization. Here's the microphone built in and you can do external. I forget that all the time when I, to go to the external mic. And let me see what else we have here. Okay. The, optical or electronic image stabilization right here is off you can turn it on and i think if, if you go into resolution it is on at see if it'll stay on at this higher resolution it's on so check that out it looks good the front display which is like the main thing that i'll be using on here but to get here you basically want to just hold the menu button here and it'll switch the to the front display see it switched and there it is 4k 60 with electronic image stabilization and then you got the mic microphone indicator there so this is going to be awesome you also got the battery indicator there let me see if i can switch here no, I can't. So I got to go back. And if I hold it again, it goes back to the rear display. And while you're here, you're I got it in the highest setting, which is 4K60 with electronic image stabilization. The microphone's on, everything's on. You want to switch to the camera mode. You just swipe over. And now we are in the camera. 20 megapixel shooter right there. So this is going to be nice. It's quick. You can just swipe again and go back. And the same thing applies to the uh, front uh, display when you're in camera right now let's see right now i'm in video 4k 60 swipe over now i'm in photo you can do that also by holding the menu and you can switch to the front and you can still take your pictures with uh with this mode here so this is a pretty nice camera i really like it i'm definitely going to use this in the front display I'll probably have it on my car and do some vlogs or nothing, but this is very nice. Um, let me switch back. The only thing is that I can't switch from photos to video on here because it's not touchscreen. But the 4K60 is going to be a beast. It looks great. Yeah, I'm out.